you joined at 16, didn't you? And that was, that was as you said, out of necessity. It wasn't because you thought, yeah, right, I want, I want to serve as soon as I can. It was a case of the, the quicker I can get money in, the better. Do you want to just talk us through your thought process and actually the reality of the application process of what it was like getting into uh, the military at 16? So I was, um, I actually joined on my 17th birthday because I was meant to start the Army Foundation College at 16. Went and passed, um, originally went and uh, got hold of my dad and said, what, what do I need to join? I have no idea what I'm doing here. I just need to get money on the table quick. Um, so I said, right, I'm joining the army. He joined the army at the same age. So it was, it was like this, whatever, sounds. He said, you either join the Paris or the Marines. And I was like, okay, which one? He went and joined the Paris. Um, Googled it as well. Seen it could get an extra 200 pound a day. So I was like, right, parachute regiment. So I went down to um, the selection process to go and get into the Paris. Went and passed that. Didn't have any idea at this stage that these were a little bit of a different breed to everyone else. I just presumed this was the army. I was, yeah, went and passed that, came back. Um, obviously, was naturally naturally quite quite fit, so very lucky. And I, um, yeah, so then what I found, I was meant to start the Army Foundation College in the September, but I was still 16. So what, this, so what I then found out that if I waited till I was 17, the Army Foundation College is one year worth of phase one training followed by six months worth of phase two training, uh, six months, a few months of phase two training. Or I could go the adult entry and just do six months basic training. And I was like, and remember at the end of that, I'm getting an extra 200 pound a month. My whole reasoning is to earn money. So I was like, well, I'll just do that. I'll wait, I'll wait a month and then join as an adult. Again, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. So it was 17th birthday, I make my way up to Catra and... Wow, that is um, just straight straight in at the deep end. It was just, you know, I was a gobshite 17 year old, thought the world owed me everything. I grew up in a little shitty place um, where I was fighting every day and doing whatever I could to earn money. Um, you know, and I was just, and I was in, in with men. It was men and I was a boy. You know, I, I, I joke about it all the time and people saying I was doing double science on the Friday. In Power Edge Depot on the Monday, just it just hit me hard. It was just like, but again, I was so naive to the situation. I just presumed this was the army. This is this is what it is, and and my why was very very strong in the fact that you're going to give me eight hundred pound every single month. All I've got to do is hold on. Easy. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not never going to ring the bell. Eight hundred pound a month. Yeah, I'll take that. That was huge money for me. Um. And that was just getting sent straight home. So I never went home on the weekends, never had any time away. And all the whole way through training, I stayed at Catrick for six months. Every bit of money went back to my mum. And I just survived. I just held on for dear life. Um, struggled every single day. Was way off the mark, was nowhere near the top. But somehow, I was one of the nine originals that made it out of 60-odd that started. And, you know, I was the youngest by a long way. And we survived. Um, and that was, that was what it was. And it was only when I... When I got out the other end, that I realised that, you know, what I achieved there was was quite significant, um, and it is. And only now I've been back as an instructor, you realise just how significant that is and how hard it is. Um, so yeah, I just it was it was a case of my why was so strong that the money had to go home. I wasn't leaving ever. They they do things to us where they would be like, two of you are leaving today. We'll keep going till two of you leave. Any two, don't care. And I'd just be in in the corridor doing whatever they had, had us do and just thinking, well, someone just ring the bell because I'm not leaving. Someone, please, just someone, someone just go and do it because I'm not going anywhere. So the sooner you, the sooner you realise that you don't want it, the better. 